I like that we get guest um, lecturers in from engineering companies to come talk to us so you get um, a good real life perspective on the industry. Uh, with finding a summer placement this summer, uh, the department, I contacted them and they recommended the Centre for Nuclear Engineering who I contacted and they helped me to find companies that offered nuclear engineering related placements and through them I managed to get a placement this summer. I'm really excited about it, I've just confirmed it and um, it should be for the whole summer. There are many opportunities within the nuclear industry, especially for engineering. And with the whole new generation of nuclear power stations that we're aiming to build in this country, I think it's a really great industry to be coming into at the minute. I plan on working when I go in industry in a as a reactor engineer or in, in a reactor systems group and the project which I'm actually doing for my MSc course uh, is actually tailored to suit that need. Um, starting MSc is quite good because it opens your mind to a different range of um, activities within the industry. So, sort of, I came in very much as a physicist thinking I want to work in neutronics codes and by the end of it I've sort of seen waste management, I've seen a lot of material science, I've seen a lot of mechanical engineering and seeing some chemical engineering. So it sort of gave me a lot of breadth, a lot of understanding of the, sort of the wealth of possibilities. So now I'm doing a PhD and I'm spending about two, three days a week in Gloucester working for EDF Energy um, during the week and then balancing it with academic based work here at Imperial. We should not be scared of nuclear energy at all. In fact, the statistics show that uh, living near a nuclear power station, the environment is a lot cleaner than it is living near a coal power, power station, for example. And in actual fact, and this is something that most people just don't believe when they hear it, the actual emissions in terms of radiation from a coal-fired power station in its normal working practice is much higher than it is from a nuclear power station. The nuclear industry is actually a very good industry to go into for long-term career prospects, for stable career prospects, usually in nice parts of the country as well, so places like Cumbria, for example, but also for women because the nuclear industry has got a very good reputation for promoting women into, into top jobs. I'm Rob Harrison. I'm an external research manager in the nuclear business at Rolls-Royce. My role involves me working closely with Imperial College and coordinating the research work that we, we have here. Working closely with Imperial through our technology centre, we aim to give students a strong appreciation of working in an industrial environment, which involves some of the most advanced techniques and equipment available, and hence better preparing them for a future career in the nuclear engineering industry. One of the really exciting things about nuclear engineering is that it's quite a diverse subject. People come into nuclear engineering with physics, chemistry, environmental engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering backgrounds, and then they learn at Imperial College through our training how they will contribute to the nuclear industry throughout the world and of course also in the UK. At the moment, the UK, as we know, is going through this nuclear renaissance, but actually many countries are going through a nuclear renaissance. That means there are a lot more jobs in nuclear engineering in the UK and abroad. I would actually expect our nuclear engineers graduating from the various training programs at Imperial College to find employment in their careers in different niches and in different countries. It's a really exciting time to join. There are real opportunities.